Hello everyone, Brian Olson here with Starburst and I'm here to talk to you today about how to deploy your Trino cluster using Starburst Galaxy. The first thing you're going to see, uh, uh, take note of, is actually that I will be using our staging environment. So uh, you'll have a different URL, but everything should pretty much look the same. Uh, you'll be welcome with this little Starburst Galaxy screen. And uh, before this, you'll actually need to register and uh, sign up and set up your, uh, your cluster. Uh, provided that that's already been done, you'll be met with this sign-in screen. And let's go ahead and sign into the Starburst Galaxy. Um, initially, uh, you, you won't have any cluster set up so, uh, and, and catalog set up. So the first thing we're going to do is actually run to configure catalog. So you'll click on this uh, and uh, notice that there's a button right here. Go right ahead and click that. And um, the demo that we're going to be running through today is we're actually going to be pulling out some generated data from this TPCH uh, data, uh, benchmark data. Uh, it's basically a, a set of data that uh, gets generated on the fly. Um, we'll, we'll typically use a small amount, and, and we're basically just trying to get a, a small proof of concept of, of how you would set up these different configurations and pull this data out, throw it into MySQL, um, and then basically just run the query over MySQL. So let's go ahead and uh, start off by creating a this TPCH catalog. And we're going to set the catalog name. No need for a description. And we'll just go ahead and save that. Boom. Simple as that. You already have uh, one catalog set up. So let's go ahead and uh, go to our cluster. And uh, from here, we're actually going to set up the, the Trino cluster. Um, and actually, uh, we'll, we'll just uh, set the name here to Galaxy Demo. Um, for now, I'm just going to use a free cluster size. We're not doing anything uh, super extreme here and just trying to get uh, our feet wet. And then uh, idle shutdown time. This will basically determine uh, the amount of time it'll take for your uh, for this cluster to uh, to shut down. Let's just put it up to 15 minutes, just in case you I don't know have to uh, read something or or look off to the side for a second. Uh, your your cluster doesn't shut down right away. Um, and uh, basically, we just want to set up that that first uh, TPCH cluster. Um, and uh, say that we'll, we'll uh, bring that in. We're also going to, uh, for, for the sake of um, uh, making sure that we are in the same region as our MySQL cluster, I have this pre-set up MySQL Galaxy test um, uh, in RDS, and Amazon RDS, and this is set up in the, uh, where is it? Uh, sorry, here we go, North Virginia uh, location in uh, the US East zone. So we're going to set that up there in the US East. And uh, we will have it public, authorized users. It all so we're going to let that go ahead and start up. Uh, we'll start up our cluster. And while we're letting that start up, let's actually go ahead and configure another catalog. So we'll configure our MySQL catalog here. Clicking on MySQL, we're going to do it in AWS. And this one we'll just simply call MySQL. No description. Um, we won't set it to read only. We, we, we will want to write data to that. And let's go ahead and get the database host name. That's going to be this endpoint here. And uh, it's going to be at 3306 still. So that's going to be the port. And then let me go ahead and grab oops, my password there and put that in. Great. Let's test the connection. Hooray, it all works. All right, so we'll save that catalog. And we can double check that um, this was added. Oh, no, it was not added. So let's go ahead and add that to this cluster. Yes. Yep, we'll go ahead and update it and then let the cluster restart there. Now that we have a, a cluster uh, up and running and we have both of our catalogs uh, configured, let's go ahead and click this three button here and click query. And so now we have the data loading there. And uh, great, now we have TPCH. Let's go ahead and quickly do a quick test 
in our TPCH. Now this is not anything too interesting. This is just pulling data out of the generated data source. And we're going to use the tiny data set because we're just not interested in doing a whole lot of data here. Again, we're on that free free tier one, so uh, we're not going to try to go too crazy. And what's really cool about this view is we can quickly get a quick uh, view of the data limited to a thousand um, rows. And you can also have a quick look at uh, the query details of the one that just executed, right? So we, we get a, a view of, of the query that just ran and actually can look at live plan and, and anything that you can do in any typical Trino cluster. So, uh, so now why don't we uh, actually create this table in MySQL? The first thing we're gonna wanna do is create a schema that we're gonna write to in MySQL. So let me go ahead and create that schema. Run the selected. Awesome, so we've created the schema now. And so when we pull this drop down, we should see that tiny schema exists there. And now let's go ahead and create the customer table underneath that tiny schema. It's so tiny. All right. All right, so uh, it just says the number of rows that was added. So that was uh, 1500 rows. And now we can actually go in and do a quick query against that MySQL. Great, and now we have data sitting in MySQL uh, that just got pulled out. And uh, the, the kind of, this may be underwhelming to some degree for, for a lot of folks, just because we basically just moved data from one generated data source to another. But I think the real takeaway here, if you extrapolate this, is that now we can go ahead and add all of our catalogs. So say we want to, you know, uh, add Amazon S3 or any other kind of data lake, uh, whether you're on Azure or Google Cloud, um, and a uh, few clicks of the button, you're able to get this all connected uh, and querying right away. Um, what's also really exciting is that, uh, you know, this, after 15 minutes, this, uh, if no queries are ran, then this Galaxy demo will, will automatically go to a, a, a suspended state. And so you're no longer paying for the resources of, of running those, um, that, that particular cluster. Um, you can go through and set up uh, a lot of things. You can actually run uh, audit log to see uh, what's been run in the last uh, uh, thing. So look, we're looking at uh, today, I've been doing a lot of other stuff before we um, set up the demo here. And then you can see the, the um, uh, addition to adding the, um, uh, to adding the MySQL, uh, creating the MySQL catalog. Uh, so uh, audit logs are, are very good. And then uh, query history, we can actually look at the queries that were run, who ran them, uh, you know, the email of whoever was logged in, which was me. Um, and uh, it's pretty, pretty useful stuff. Um, roles and, uh, and privileges, of course, we can create roles and actually set who can see what particular catalog. Um, and then obviously you can uh, add different users and stuff. So, um, so I hope you all enjoyed this, this quick little demo over uh, Starburst Galaxy, and hope to see you in the next one.